Govinda Lila Marit Prata Lila Chapter 2 From 6 a.m. to 8.24 a.m. We begin with Gora Chandrika. So, before beginning Radha Govinda's morning pastimes, let us first enter Sriman Mahaprabhu's Navadvi Pratalila. Upon her son awakening, Mother Shachi notices the bruises on his body that were incurred from his rolling on the ground in ecstatic Prem Sankirtan. Thus she exclaims, What is this? Oh, Nimai, what has happened to you? In anxiousness, she affectionately caressed the Lord's body again and again. Then Srivas, Murari Gupta and many other bhaktas arrive and offer dandavats to Sri Gaurasundar. And when exchanging greetings, the Lord describes his astonishing dreams. Then he washes his mouth with rose water and walks to the Ganga for a morning bath. Upon returning, he enjoys prasad with the devotees. Let us thus worship Shigora Chandra's Navadvip Lilas. This is from Sri Bhavana Sarsangra the first two verses from second chapter by Sri Siddha Krishna Das Papaji Tika commentary Sriman Gorasundas Madhurya Mai Nara Lila that means human like pastimes almost appear like a commonplace event or events to the general observer. Yet hidden within them is an undercurrent of Maha Bhav Prema. Shiman Mahaprabhu is a prachan a concealed avatar. So his exalted lilas are also prachan, concealed. For example, Mother Shachi concludes that her son, son's bruised marks have been incurred by falling on the ground during ecstatic Sankirtan. But is that the real reason? Because these pastimes are born from Sri Krishna's most intimate yet unfulfilled desires which Srimati Radharani and her sakis a spectacular purport is to be discovered therein. Indeed, the desire to expand the taste this mellows prompted Rasik Shekhar, Sri Krishna, to transfer his entire fragest of <coughs> And her to the Saras Bhumi, to the 
tropical land of Navadvip or of Sri Gauramanda, where Radha became Gadadhar, and her sakis and manjaris caught male's body too. It is here that Sri Krishna's Braj Lilas split into hundreds of tributaries, expanding in every one of the ten directions. As she, Krishna's desire to taste Braja Prem begins in Brindavan and culminates in Navadvip, Govinda Lilamrit serves as an ideal introduction for understanding Sri Gaurahari's Madhur pastimes. As for Navadvip's Pratalila scene, it begins with Jagannad Mishrapur. When Madhushachi and Advaita Acharya's Shakti Sita Thakurani with Purnamasi in Gauralila enter Gaurachandra's bedroom chamber to awake him. The Gotika describes the Jagannath Mishra's house is a marvelous gold and jeweled palace having 30 rooms. Kuranga's bedroom is centrally located near a garden and the yoga pit mandir. As the verse next mentions, Kurasundar relates his astonishing dreams, which means his Rasa Udgar, Rasudgar remembering the ecstasy of previous Lila in Radha Bhav, of her midnight Milan with Shamasunda meeting in the midnight. The Gaudiya Mahajanas have also written about other even more intimate versions of Rasudgara which took in other nights. At this time Sri Svarup Damodar sings Ketan Padas appropriate to the Lord's mood. Then when Shachi Nandan gets up to go to the Ganga he proceeds with the devotees to the eastern Singadwar. and walks down a jewel path that is lined on both sides with Bokula desire trees. Underneath the trees are jewel vedis for sitting upon. The gut is also made of various types of gems, and when Gorasanda arrives there, he offers pronouns to Ganga Devi and sits down under the jewel pavilion. His servants rub oil into his hair and into his body and put on his bathing cloth, Snanavastra. <coughs> Then Gora enters the Ganga to begin Jalkeli with his bhaktas. Whether, although it is described that Gora Sundar fixes his attention on sporting with Gadadhar, he surely frolics with his other Madhur Ashrita bhaktas 
like Shivananda Singh, Vasugosh, and Narahari, by splashing them too. Shina Vishwana Chakravati mentions, mentions that the Jalkel is followed by Ganga Puja. When Gorasunda returns home, he is nicely dressed and decorated and he sits down to enjoy morning prasad with his devotees. After he eats and takes a brief nap, <coughs> the Prata period concludes with Gorasunda's spectacular yoga pit pastimes within a jewel mandir. This synopsis has been taken from Sri Dhyana Chandra Archana Padati and the Gutika of Krishna Das Babaji. Radha Krishna's Prata Lila Sutra. First verse. Srimati Radharani is bathed and dressed in the morning, then receiving Rajeshwari Yashoda's order, she goes with her Sakya Varga to cook at Krishna's house. Then Krishna bathes, dresses and sits down with the Sakas to relish Radha's cooking. And after Krishna's bhojan, Radha Rani enjoys his prasad with her sakis. Let us thus take shelter of Radha and Krishna in the more early morning. This is from Smaran Mangala of Sri Rupa Goswami. Fourth verse. Tika. Srila Kaviraj Babaji will now expand on it, on this shloka, with a narration that continues to the end of the fourth chapter of Pratalila, a total of 295 shlokas. Once upon a time, Turvas Muni <coughs> gave Radha <coughs> the benediction that her cooking would defeat the taste of nectar and that the life's duration of whomever partakes of it would increase. After hearing about this wonderful boon, Mother Yashoda eagerly began calling Srimati Radharani to come to Nanda Bhavan to daily prepare morning pots. Gora Primanan.